This is waste the power. Welcome to David Outdoors 74. Get outside. This is a biogas digester. If you haven't seen my channel before, it's covered up for the winter. As I clean out my chicken coop, I put in more uh, manure around here to just insulate the tank through the winter. These are small digesters right here. That's a 55 gallon one. I did a video on how to make that. That's just a smaller one, kind of a little concept. And these guys get the influent from him. So as I put food in the bigger digester, which is the IBC, the influent comes out of there, which is fertilizer. And I just distribute it between these two guys to get the rest of the methane I, I can or biogas. And then the influent comes out of these guys and that goes into my garden. Even in the winter time, you can make biogas. So let's see if I can get this to work right. I gotta hold the camera in one hand and, and light it with the other. So I got turn the valve on. I usually turn it off in the winter time. It's early in the morning. So here's the unfun part. Thumbs over it. There you go. So that's methane burning from old food scraps, but it's winter time and I'm still producing biogas. How cool is that? It'll eventually melt this, but it's still making power. That's pretty cool. And it's about out. Oh, and it's about out. It does produce methane even in cold climates. So if you're insulating these guys really good and keeping heat to them, you can actually still produce gas. Pretty cool. And that's about it. <laughs> uh, let's see the more. Oh, a little bit more. So this is uh, definitely a pretty cool concept. <sighs> turn the valve off. So if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like, hit the share. Um, I'm gonna do a lot more videos. I gotta build another digester in the spring the IBC tank and I'm going to put coils in it, heating coils so I can heat it and see if I can heat it through the colder months. Even if it's not freezing, if I can use compost to heat the biodigester, then I can get more methane. Next thing I want to do is put, see those guys right there? I want to use chicken manure and try it in my tank and see if that works. All right, the chicken coop is all clean. The biogas digester is covered. So throughout the winter, I'm just gonna keep putting straw and chicken poop on it. I've got a tarp on it. That way when I wanna, I pull it right off and it'll be fine. Uh, I've got that spray foam, but the thing is with the IBC tanks is the wrapped in metal and metal is a great conductor of cold. Now here I've got, uh, there's a window in here that I should actually pick that up. The sun will get in there throughout the winter and just keep it, you know, somewhat uh, heated. This digester here, it was frozen the other day. Now it's, now it's not so liquid. This one here, oh, I lost my top. I got a top on this. I've got an excavator this spring. And what I'm going to do is take this bank and take the bank and smooth it right out. Rearrange these guys and build another digester in the other one. And I'm going to put coils in it which are these guys that'll be inside the digester and then I'll build another compost pile actually I'm gonna have two because when one cools down I'll have the other one so I'll have two systems here to keep rotating and, and keeping the other digester lukewarm or so it won't freeze up and maybe I can get some more uh, biogas I can instead of getting really good amounts of gas in June or July around this area I could actually start maybe April May possibly as long as I keep it um, warm so stay tuned. I have a lot more digester stuff coming up and renewable energy. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, hit the share, hit the like, um, and pass on to your friends. So remember, instead of throwing garbage away and paying for it, 
put it in a digester and make free power.